Many Christians think that the terrors are those not following Christ. They don't understand that the terrors are people who call themselves Christian. From Wiki on the parable of the terrors, according to the common interpretation, the good seeds are the spiritual children of Jesus Christ, and the weeds are the rest of the population of the earth that are the spiritual children of Satan. I don't agree. You can see my video, The Wheat, the Tares, and the Antichrist for more information on that. But one thing is that if it was the rest of the population on earth, you could tell the difference for thousands of years. However, the tares being so-called Christians who have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof, they look like Christians. They are in the form of Christians, but they deny the power of God. It's like the Pharisees being clean on the outside but being old bones on the inside. The tares have to look like the wheat growing up or the parable makes no sense. Wheat and tares look similar while they are growing, but when it comes time to harvest, the wheat will have fruit. That's the Christians who are actually being convicted of their sins and doing God's will. The tares will have no fruit because they are weeds. These are the lukewarm Christians or Christians who think that they are hot for God but deny the power of the Holy Spirit to get rid of their sin. They will not have fruit because they thought that they could not stop sinning. This is where the satan satanic creed comes from, do what thou wilt. Um, these Christians have been taught, brainwashed by society, that they cannot stop sinning. And I was one of them before God woke me up last year. I was brainwashed. Most society gets taught, if you are still in your flesh body, you can't get rid of your sin. This is an antichrist teaching because Jesus came to free us from our sin so that we would no longer be slaves to sin. That sin would no longer have um, a mastery over us, that it wouldn't be our master and Jesus would be our master, our Lord, instead. He did this by sending the Holy Spirit to us, and now we have the power to stop sinning through the power of God's Holy Spirit living inside of us. But if you believe like they do, you will feel content, thinking that you're a good person if you're helpful to people. But they don't ask God what he wants them to do, because most are not told that they are supposed to. I have videos on our daily bread being our assignment from God for what he wants us to do, but most people think it's about your literal food for the day. In this way, people do whatever they are going to do without asking God what he thinks. This is the do what thou wilt creed of Satanists, which goes to show that the enemy sowed the tares, right? The reason I'm doing this video is because I was getting falsely accused this morning. And I get this a lot for various reasons. Mostly it's spiritual deafness because people hear what they want to hear when they're listening to me. It's really just open doors to demons from sins that they haven't repented of. The demons then keep them blind or deaf to things since they have the power to do that, since the person didn't repent of their sin yet. Then the demons use the opportunity to harass me through those people. I don't usually delete posts unless there is a demonic influence to them. And if I have deleted your post, it's probably because I felt a demonic influence to it. Or you straight up lied about what I said, which is falsely accusing someone. Which again is because of the spiritual deafness usually. I would always pray over, you know, ever, ever deleting anybody's post. And if it's just gone, it may just be because YouTube is glitching out. And sometimes I don't see posts because of Google+. It's not always because I actually deleted it. Um, I don't put up videos without praying on them, and I don't delete posts without praying if I should, and I don't even comment to people without praying if I should, especially when things are getting heated in a conversation. This person made me cry today. I am completely shy. I am introverted to the max. I am human, and even Jesus cried. It's sad to see people who call themselves Christians attacking those who come in Jesus' name. And you can see my video being converted, humbling yourself as a child, praying for your father to guide you for more information on, you know, attacking people who come in Jesus' name, more scripture study on that. But what's going on is the wheat and the tares are separating. I mentioned the wheat has a lot of fruit. It will bend down like bowing down because of the heavy fruit. This is a symbol of submission and humility to our Lord Jesus. The tares with no fruit have nothing to weigh them down and will stand upright compared to the wheat. This is a symbol of haughtiness and pride. What I saw from this woman this morning who judged me was a belief that she knew better than me about how to spend my time and that I was somehow wrong to have this channel on YouTube and these videos. 
I told her I only do what God wants me to do and I follow him, and she said I was wrong to have so many videos on my channel, as if I was wasting my time. I come in my father's name. I point people to him. I listen to him for what they, you know, what to do. Um, how can that be wrong? Yet someone who supposedly was a Christian is judging me without knowing anything about the situation. I'm not going to call her a terror because I don't know her personally. I'm just saying that pride and haughtiness to say someone is not doing God's will without even knowing the person is symbolic of a terror. It could have just been that she was having a bad day and had engaged in a sin she wasn't asking for forgiveness for yet and that the demons were using her to try to get to me, to try to get me to stop doing this. These are the sorts of attacks that we deal with. But we are to resist the devil's attacks and he will flee from us. So I continue to do um, God's will. I continue to go to God and pray for what he wants me to do. Every attack is a blessing because we are being purified and getting stronger and stronger and we should be thanking God for putting us through it because we get more pure every single time we get through one. And that has been my experience this past year. And I do thank him. One of the Ten Commandments people like to say is, Thou shalt not lie. But it's actually Exodus 20, verse 16, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. We are supposed to be getting pure, as I mentioned, even as God is pure, and he cannot lie. So obviously that is where we are supposed to be. But the commandment is much more precise. Thou shalt not bear false witness against your neighbor, your brother, your companion, even your opponent. We are not to lie about other people. When I first put up the video about Occult Days Lucaria with Full Moon, I noticed a lot of liars coming out of the woodwork on that Occult night and the next day. I also had many people comment that they experienced the same thing. And of course I had the person falsely accuse me this morning. It's one of the ways demons are getting people further and further into sin. This is why sin begat sin. Because once you sin, you allow a demon to spiritually blind you and then lead you into further sin. The more sin you get into, the more sin, the more times you're blinded, the more things you cannot see. And this is a spiritual blindness, obviously. This is who the demons, this is how the demons get more control over people. I think this is what is going on. They are getting people to falsely accuse others. That is going against one of the Ten Commandments. If you are going to get upset at someone something that someone has done or said. I'm going to suggest now to pray to God to show you the truth and take away any deception. And of course, see my video on deliverance if you haven't. Because these are the times that we are tempted to falsely accuse people, I believe. There's something going on with that in particular. Um, I thought maybe today the Feast of Sirius would just be a day of spiritual attack, which is what I talk about in my videos when I mention dates. I woke up with uh, horrible back pain today. Uh, I had that another day that I mentioned in the past too, um, when I have mentioned a date. I don't know what the deal is with that. And I got falsely accused today again. There was an attack today, but um, there was a real attack, like physical, um, something people could see. Uh, quote, at least 80 people were killed and over 230 were wounded in Afghan capital on Saturday. I'll leave the link below to this article. Sacrifices are used in these occult days to get more energy, and they want lots and lots of energy. The enemy is bursting at the seams, trying to birth the Antichrist beast. And of course, we have the, um, the attack yesterday in Germany. Whether real or not, doesn't matter. The people in Germany are feeling the effects today. And then the Tomorrowland is having its event today in Germany, along with six other places around the earth. And it's just going to get further and further, you know, badder and badder spiritually here. Um, keep praying to God to show you what to do each day and follow him. Now is not the time to regress into sin. Pray for strength to stay away from it. And fasting is good too if you're trying to quit a sin. Thanks for listening and Shabbat Shalom.